Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is the appearance panel settings and why can't I change that blue? Adobe walks a very fine line trying to keep everybody happy with the primary users being professional video editors. And After Effects and Premiere Pro are both uh, trying to make sure that the interface gets out of the way and your work stays in the front. Yet anything that you need to touch, change, move, or put a number in uh, is easily accessible. So to that end, Adobe adopted a dark background and bright blue text and, and highlight stuff. And uh, some people love it, some people find it a little bit bright. You can go in, in and go in and actually tweak that and turn that brightness down. Let's go have a look. So here we are in Premiere Pro and you can see we've got our uh, track targeting, source patching, icons here, numbers there, the current tool that we have selected, and the uh, playhead. All of this stuff is very bright blue. In the edit menu, it's in the... Um, Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, <clears throat> choose Appearance, and you can see overall there's a brightness setting which you can turn up and down. And if you like a lighter setting, you can turn that up. If you um, also want to change the highlight color, there are two sliders down here at the bottom. Now this is the overall uh, interactive control. So I, at the highest end, I'm brightening it up and you see the word sample there is bright and when I take it down, it's very dark. Let's take it all the way up. The same with the outline around the outside. I can take that all the way up and when I click OK, you can see everything that was slightly muted is pretty darn bright. Let's go try the opposite way now. Take this all the way down click OK and you can see it's much more muted and there's also a setting for defaults. Now let's jump into After Effects and you can see the same kind of controls in here. Again it's in the After Effects menu um, on uh, the Mac and in Appearance. There are more controls up here for things like label colors but uh, basically down here it's similar where you can turn the brightness up you can also work with the interactive controls, so we can turn those all the way up. And now you can see the outline of the focused palette uh, and the uh, text that's there um, are all highlighted. And let's go back and change that. Let's make that very muted. You can even see the, the uh, OK button gets very, very muted. Now it's much more of a dull setting. So, a couple of, of tweaks uh, can uh, make it work for you. Now, when Adobe adopted a, a bright blue as opposed to the original amber, uh, orange kind of color, people uh, requested, well, why can't I have a button to change that? Didn't I just show you how I could change a color brightness and saturation value? Well, isn't a hue part of that? And couldn't I move that? And couldn't I make that change? Well, the answer is uh, you can for some things, but a large part of the interface in um, Adobe applications, in fact, every single application you use on any computer, a large amount of the controls, the icons, are actually images, they're pictures, and they have to be created. And when they're created, um, a color is chosen, and in uh, Adobe's case, it was blue. So for Adobe to offer multiple colors, they would have to create tens of thousands of multiple colored icons for you to pick. Um, it's, it's, it, it's not gonna happen. In fact, if you have a look inside on Windows, it's in the Premiere Pro folder in a PNG folder, a ping folder. Uh, it's probably inside the package contents on the Mac, but if you just start poking, now, don't change anything in here. I'm not telling you that this is where you can go and change all the colors. These are a bunch of resources that the application needs just to let you know, uh, you know, how many things are, are uh, how many things that, that something like Premiere Pro counts on and it needs to run properly. In this folder, there are 3,189 
items in here. And you can see some are black and white like the cursors, but if we keep going, you can instantly start to see some of these are blue. So Adobe would have to make all of these icons uh, in new colors. Love the blue, learn to live with the blue because the blue ain't going away. The blue is here to stay, but you can tweak it, turn it down just a little bit if you find it a little bit too uh, in your face. Or if you have a little bit of trouble seeing it, you can definitely make it brighter. Well, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button for video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then there is a special link in the description to get you your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking blue and looking your best.